How's it going fishing friends? Do you like to fish for bluegill, for crappie, for other panfish, maybe trout? Uh, little, little bit of light line fishing with smaller hooks and, uh, and lighter tackle. If so, and if you really consider yourself a pan fisherman and you're looking for uh, tackle ideas, you might want to consider the Mystery Tackle Box Panfish and Trout Fishing Kit. This is box number six. And uh, so I'm gonna break this open and just give you an idea of what you can find in box number six. Little Catch Co. Mystery Tackle Box box. And it says it has five to six baits around a $25 value. Most of the Catch Co. boxes usually have a little guidebook, if you will. The Dibble Tips and Tricks flyer that just tells you a few tips about fishing, fishing for pan fish and that kind of thing. All right, what do we got in here? First up is the Euro Tackle Micro Finesse Gamma Scud. Check that out. Gold GP is the color, and it says it's made in Russia. Let's see if we can break it open and look at one of these little Gamma Scuds up close and personal, because they're tiny. Look at that little thing. <laughs> Is that tiny or what? Like they say, micro finesse. I mean, if I try to hold it, you can't even see the thing. All right, I'll hold it by the head first. You can see the, the tail. And then I'll hold the tail. You can see the head. That thing is tiny, super micro, I'd say. You've got a Rebel Crick Hopper in Fire Tiger color. And this is just a little crankbait. Let me try to get in the middle so you can kind of see it better. I mean, it looks just like a grasshopper. Pretty cool. Then we've got a specific Carl's lure. This is a little cool looking little crankbait. It's called the Whipper Snapper. Dives one to four feet. It's a sixteenth of an ounce, an inch and a half long. And this color is cotton candy. Look at that. That's a pretty sweet looking little, little crankbait. I bet the crappie would love that thing. Cotton candy. It's got some pink and some blue and some orange, but it's translucent. You can see right through it. Wild. Then we've got some Eagle Claw hair spinners. And let's face it, any kind of a MEP spinner or a Eagle Claw Spinner, any kind of a spinner, works great for pan fish, and it also works for bass. You could definitely catch bass. I used to catch bass on little spinners as a kid all the time. Then you've got the Northland Fishing Tackle Critter Craw, the Mimic Minnow Critter Craw, and this color is called Green Craw. And of course, this will also work, as it says in the back here, for pike, bass, walleye, and apparently trout and panfish. It's got, uh, it's green. It's got uh, a little bit of, <clears throat> it's a lighter color on the belly. You may not be able to tell that. Pretty good looking little crawdad. It's small. And uh, one sixteenth of an ounce. Then the final pack of baits are 
basically just some super tiny swim baits, kind of like you'd see a Kitek swim bait. This is a Carl's bait as well. <coughs> it doesn't tell what they call these, and it doesn't tell what the color is. It's kind of a grayish, blackish color. And it looks like there's about 10 of them in the package. And the very last thing in this little panfish and trout kit is an MTB sticker. So there you have it. Sticker, little swim baits, Criticraw, Crick Hopper, Whippersnapper crankbait, your hair spinners, and these crazy tiny gamma scuds along with the booklet. Not a bad combination of lures, I'd say. I mean, and I'll bet you, even if you're an avid pan fisherman, there was something in this box you've never tried before. So you may want to give it a try. I will put on the screen what this thing cost because I can't remember what I paid for it. And then you'll know kind of what the uh, what the value is if you if you're interested in buying something like this. I hope this was helpful and informative. If it was, please consider subscribing to the channel. It would really help. And if you'd like to know when you're gonna, when I'm going to post another video, hit that bell and subscribe uh, for notifications. And uh, I would greatly appreciate it. Until next time, this is Mr. Bass. Happy fishing.